What is going on ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be showing you how to unlock all of Bunny's quest line in the fastest way possible. Now every single descendant has a sub quest line that you can do. This is going to be for Bunny obviously. Now this is going to be starting after you complete the Gravewalker boss, you are going to unlock Bunny from right here. And this is going to be a lot easier if you are at least done with the White Knight Gulch, or if you are halfway through Hagios, it's going to make this a heck of a lot easier. Alrighty, now without further ado, let's just get straight into it here. First things first, you're going to go to the Sterile Lands, you're going to go to the Restricted Zone, and you're going to go into the top left teleporter. And you're going to run along this line, and you're going to follow what I'm doing here. You're going to go to the very south point of this thing, and on that little outcropping of a ledge, you are going to see it right there. You're going to go ahead and pick that up. Then you're going to go ahead and you're going to open up your world map, and you're going to go to Journal, Records, Descendant, and then click on it. You don't have to listen to it, but you can. Then you're going to go back to Albion, and you are going to go and talk to Alpha. Afterwards, you're going to go and talk to Nell. Then you're going to go head over to Vespers, and you are going to go to the Ruins Outpost. Go ahead and make a marker on that Void Fragment right there. Then there's going to be the little Ruins behind that, and you're going to go ahead and jump on it, and it's going to be at the very far end where there is no grass right there, and check it out, and do the same thing. And open up the records, Descendant, listen to it, cancel it, and then you're going to go back to Albion, and you're going to talk to Glay. After you talk to Glay, you're going to go and talk to Sharon. It's going to tell you to go to the Echo Swamp, and you're going to go into the Derelict Covert. You're going to head over to the Treehouses at this location here, and you're going to go to the very top, and there is going to be another journal. Go ahead and listen to it, same story. Go back to Albion and now talk to Anais. Anais is then gonna bring you over to the Agna Desert. And for this one, it's gonna be a little bit annoying uh, just because of the components that you do need. However, I kinda got into a stroke of luck here. Somebody was already doing it, so I didn't have to grind it. Now, in order to do this, you actually need 12 organic shards and three inorganic shards. Now. To farm that, it's going to be a pain in the butt, especially if you only have Bunny unlocked. So, just do keep that in mind. If you do have somebody else that can help you and can do that for you, just go ahead and do that. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description on how to best farm those. Then you're going to go back to Albion, and you're going to go talk to Anais again. And you're going to click Data Restoration. Then you're going to go over to the White Knight Gulch and just go ahead and mark that zone right there. Then you're going to go ahead and clear this area here. Once it's all cleared, then you're going to go back over to Albion. Go talk to Anais again. Then you're going to go into an intercept battle and kill the Pyromaniac. After he's dead, go ahead and use the reconstructed device. And you should be done. Now go back to Anais. Talk to her again. And then you have to talk to her again. And then ask her to go into the abandoned Magister lab. Then you're going to go ahead and run through all of this and solo clear everything. This is a single player event, so you cannot have anyone else helping you. Now after you kill the final boss, you're going to go back to Albion. And you are going to go talk to Anaisa again. Afterwards, it's going to have you go and talk to Sharon. So run over to Sharon and talk to her. And then afterwards, go talk to Glay. And then go talk to Alpha again. And then you're done. And now this unlocks, as I went over earlier, the prestige system. So the way to unlock prestige is you're going to go to your descendant module here. And you're going to click on module additional settings and then click assign module type. And then from there you can assign whatever socket that you want. Now assigning these sockets actually helps you because it 
will lower the cost of the uh, modifying slot. So if you have a correlating slot with the same symbol as these, then you can put it in. Now this will reset you to level one. However, don't worry, you still have all of your weapons and your mastery rank at that level. Uh, but just do keep in mind that it does reset you to level one. And that's pretty much all we got for today. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out for now.